Hey guys, Dr. Polly. Uh, we're going to wrap up the uh, bottle wrap exercise here. And so what I'm going to do is on the front plane, I'm going to create a sketch. And he uses a, a line, and he says use the midpoint line in order to do this. Uh, quicker and easier for me is just to use a center line. Uh, draw my horizontal line, uh, then find my midpoint, come back and connect it to my origin. And then go back, hit escape, go back, and just turn that into a vertical line. And so now everything's nice and centered. Uh, Dimension-wise, uh, the horizontal line is 2.750. The height of this line is 4.5. Um, if you'll notice, my bottle's a little different than yours, so it's okay. Um, now that we've got those uh, finished, I'm going to go ahead and still inside the sketch. I'm going to add text to it. Uh, the curve I need to pick is going to be uh, this line. The text is going to be shampoo. And I want to make sure that it is uh, full justified. In other words, it's going to take the entire length of that line. Uh, I'm going to unselect document font. And I'm going to, up here, I'm going to type in Arial, which is, I want Arial rounded uh, MT. Make sure it's bold. Units, we're going to move it up to 0.4. And I'm going to say OK. And you should see shampoo right there. And I'm going to finish that. And then I'm going to uh, exit that sketch. Now if you look at it, you'll notice the sketch is inside the bottle. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring it out. We're going to emboss it out. And so Control-8 to finish that up. Now uh, I'm going to go to my wrap. And I'm going to pick my sketch to wrap. And make sure that uh, emboss is selected as well as a uh, spline surface and then for uh, the surface I'm just going to pick the uh, outside of the bottle here uh, the depth or thickness of it is going to be uh, 10 thousandths 0 0.010 and uh, should be okay and I'm going to say okay give it a few seconds and now you'll see that shampoo is embossed and coming out of the bottle ever so slightly And that's it.